Hey everybody, we're gonna make a curry base today. Let's get cooking. We'll start by prepping two yellow onions, cutting off the butt ends so the onion can lie flat on the cutting board, then cut them in half. Because the onions are going to be blended up later, the way you cut them is not important. So after peeling them, we'll give them a rough chop. After our onions are finished, we'll take two full bulbs of garlic and smash them. This is to release the oils to enhance the garlic flavor. If you don't want to use a knife, you can always use a garlic smasher. Moving on to our pot, we'll add one tablespoon of mustard oil. Set it to high, and after it's nice and hot, we'll add one pound of baby carrots. We'll roast them for a couple of minutes before adding our chopped onions. We'll then let the onions soften, and then add our garlic. You'll know to move on when the pot gives off a light garlic aroma. When it's ready, we'll add two tablespoons of tomato paste before seasoning our pot with a tablespoon of onion powder, garlic powder, MSG, salt, pepper, and garland masala. Mix until it's evenly incorporated. We'll then set our pot to medium heat and get our tomatoes. You're gonna see two different cans here, but that's only because I accidentally grabbed a can of diced tomatoes, but two 28 ounce cans of whole tomatoes are what I typically use. We'll then come back to our pot and add our canned tomatoes. Give it a little stir, then put the lid on it. Come back about eight minutes after and mix it again. Put on the lid, and after another eight minutes, mix it once more. We'll then turn it to low and let it cool off because we'll be blending it next. To blend the base, I will be using an immersion blender. If you don't have an immersion blender, you can use a normal blender. Just be careful if it's still hot. We'll blend our base until it's nice and smooth, not chunky. Now we'll grab a can of coconut milk. This can was a little chunky, so outside of its appearance, it was fine. You'll notice that it easily melts into the base, and once it's stirred in, you'll want to give it a taste to adjust spices to preference. Ours was good to go, so it's time to take it off the stove and portion it out. Eight ounces can easily make four portions, but how you portion it is up to you. Food containers make it super easy to store and freeze for later. For the best results, I would not keep the base in the refrigerator for longer than two to three days. When freezing, three to six months. Make sure to catch my next video to watch how you too can use this base in a curry.